I'm Charlotte, and this is Coffee and Conversation. I'm doing an afternoon session today just to change things up a bit. And today I want to talk about who you are. Who are you? If someone asks you that question, how do you answer it? Do you say, oh, my name is such and such? Do you say, well, I'm a survivor, or I'm an alcoholic, or I'm this, or I'm that? Is your identity, when you look at yourself, is your identity based on what you do? Is it based on the things that people tell you about yourself? Or do you define yourself in a different way? When I was in the middle of my healing, or actually at the beginning of it, when everything was coming against me, people all around me, my, my psychiatrist, my therapist, even my pastor, would tell me I was this or I was that, I had this di diagnosis or that diagnosis, I was, I was diagnosed with anxiety, depression, PTSD, borderline personality disorder, the list goes on and on. But, and it became so overwhelming and I began to think that's who I really was. And, you know, I've talked almost in every video about how my faith sustained me. And this was no different. I, I always had a faith in God and Christ. And so I sought scriptures. I looked for something that would tell me that I was not defined by my trauma. And that all these things that people were saying about me were not who I was. And I found a scripture that just changed my perspective. And so I want to share that scripture with you today. It's found in Psalms 139 verses 13 through 14. And it reads, For you were formed, for you formed my inward parts. You knitted me together in my mother's womb. I praise you, for I am fearfully and wonderfully made wonderful are your works my soul knows it very well and my soul does know that very well i know that i am fearfully and wonderfully made i know that a good god created me and formed me and knew before i was born all the things that would happen in my life but he made me fearfully and wonderfully he made me and nothing that happened to me or that happens to me now changes that fearful and wonderful being that God created. I am fearfully and wonderfully made. I struggle with depression and anxiety, not as much as I used to by any means. I still have borderline personality tendencies on very, 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 very rare occasions and usually can squelch them pretty quickly. I struggle with food addiction. I no longer struggle with sexual addiction and pornography. But all of those things are things I struggle with. They are not who I am and they are not who you are. You are not your trauma. You are not your trauma. Those are things that happened to you, but you were created by a good God and you were created and you are fearfully and wonderfully made. That's just a, 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 a profound way of looking and changing the way you perceive yourself. My desire and my hope is that each one of you will know that you, your trauma does not define you. That is not who you are. And if there's anything that you get from any of my videos, it is that, that you are not your trauma. Those things were done to you and you can overcome them. You can get through this. You are fearfully and wonderfully made. That never changes. I, 
that was just on my heart today. Wanted to share it. Please, please comment and 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 subscribe if this was helpful. If even if it wasn't helpful to you and you have something you want to share with me about that, that's fine too. But just remember, you are fearfully and wonderfully made and your trauma does not define you. And I will talk to you again soon. Bye now.